Day to the life of D. Rowe. <laughs> Crazy though, that's all I know. Good call, man. About to get a nice rehab. First person I see every day is Timmy G, man. My guy. <laughs> oh, JD. Oh, this the, hey, this the man behind the scenes right here. My guy, JD, what's up? How you doing, buddy? You good? good? What, you got, what you got going on for today? Well, I teach class, so I'm in the middle of grading papers for 200 students. So oh, wow. It's a busy week. All right, JD. Always fun. All right, man, well, I'll see you. I want to get back on court. I ain't played basketball so long. I got hurt in January, just after Christmas. Davis, banging with Bagley down low. And as talented as Marvin Bagley is, and as athletic as he is, he is not going to be able to stop a guy with the strength of Deron Davis. <laughs> Been out for a while. Here's his leg pumps in. I had a good workout, treatment's good, foot's froze up. Now, on my way to do some homework. Legends. The Academic Center. Hey, how you doing? Hey, guys. Brace. Brace. <laughs> Well, hello, Devon. How are you? <laughs> Yo, I know that was fake. Don't mess up my vlog. <laughs> my vlog. How about this? You and your vlog. Let's finish this paper. This is a real day in the life. No, this is all I do. <laughs> um, well, hello. My name is Lorraine Price, and I am the Director of Academic Services, and I advise our men's and women's basketball program. I also advise women's golf. I guess what I do for the program is to be sure that everything gets done in the classroom so these guys can keep being on the court. My, the best part of my job is actually working with the kids um, because you get to help people like them, you know, see themselves outside of being an athlete. It's pretty cool to do. All right, well, checking out the academic center. Just got some good work in. Now I'm gonna just head to the house, probably take a little nap, then get a haircut, that's what I really need to do. So we pulling up on B Dundit at the barber shop. Why are you walking like that? This is where the magic be happening right here, man. Let's go to work, boy. You gotta change this. I ain't feeling this cake. Look like a zebra. So, so how long you been? How long you been um, cutting the team shirt? Think back all the way back to like AJ Moyer, Marco Killingsworth. Yes, uh, DJ White, and uh, just consistently been cutting you guys every year. You know, watching watching you guys come and play. So you have so much of an impact on the community at such a young age that you don't even realize it until you get to about you know, sophomore, junior year, depending mm -hmm. on, you know, the people that you spend the time around. Hey, look who called you. Oh, yeah. Freddie Mac. What up? What Yo. up, Fred? People. Yo, what's up, people? Hey, hold it up, Fred. Hey, Yo. Your boys are here, you know, trying to get that daily cut. See me, I'm looking kind of rough, but I'm all right. I'm going to tell you about my day. I got a dub on Fortnite today. You got to start the day with a victory. All right, bro. I'm out, Fred. Man. All right, bro. Good time. I appreciate you. Network, what's up, what's up? What's network. What, what they got going get, get, on here? Get, get better Wednesday. Get better Wednesday. Wednesday? What's Stand resistant. On? Agility training. All right, here we go, J-Mo. One. Okay. Three. Good. 
two. Time. Yeah, so you know we working always. You feel me? We stay working, Jay. Always. Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm back. So we take y'all over here through through the trenches, through the tunnel of the new facility being built in uh, Simon Scott Assembly Hall. So we're gonna see what's going on, man. Hey, it's supposed to be crazy, though. That's all I know. I'm great, how are you? Yo, this is our locker room. This is your locker room. Yo, it's gone. Wow, that's crazy. It don't look the same. Can I, can I walk down there? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Yeah. All right, so right here in this area is our locker room. Right here, right? Yep. Sitting down over here. Yep. Coach is going to be talking over there. Yep. Over here, we got our lounge room. Like a 98 screen TV right here on the wall. 98 inches, crazy. Well, we got two 90 footers. We got one over here, we got one over there. And then you got the lounge, the food area right here. So we're gonna be eating that. Then, y'all gotta lose your imagination. You gotta, you, can't, you gotta put it together right now. We got the coach got a little room over there in the corner. Room. The coach got everything else upstairs, so it's for us, the players. So yeah, that's it, man. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. Next year is gonna be hype. Hi. Zoo day. <laughs> <laughs> What time is it? Zoo time, baby. Zoo time. <laughs> What's this zoo called? Indianapolis Zoo. Oh, duh. There you go. Have a great day. Thanks. Thanks. So, Bree, tell the people what's your favorite animal to look at in the zoo. Ooh, in the zoo? Um, giraffes. <laughs> I like the elephants. Elephants are cool. Everybody, everybody likes elephants, though. Everybody does Zebras are cool. Zebras are so boring, though. Hi, people. I'm Bree. I'm on the women's basketball team. Me and Duran are having a Bree and Big Day at the zoo. Oh, that was my first tiger experience. <laughs> it was crazy. That is a big animal. Yeah. I definitely want one now. Me too. Oh, look at it. How tall are you? I'm 6'10. Play. Gio, Gio. <laughs> I think you got to be the tallest guy ever. Yo, this guy is huge. And he smells disgusting. Okay. Wow. That bird looks just like you, Bree. With the little afro thing. Not amused. Literally sweating. Like, I'm sweating. It's so hot. I like your form, my guy. What up, guy? Posture. Wow. <laughs> So man, it was a nice time at the zoo. I have fun, see a lot of interesting animals. So we logging out. I'm logging out. Vlogging out. I'm vlogging out. I'm vlogging out, boy. <laughs>